Welcome to a dark and dingy corner of my studio, otherwise known as my parents' basement. Come sit down by the fire on this hallowed eve and allow me to regale you with certain flights of terror. Allow me to tell you a story, a story that will have the conservators quivering in their boots. But you and I, we'll sit down with a cup of hot chocolate and enjoy the din. <laughs> it begins with a boy. I'll allow you to fill in the blanks. He's possibly a bit timid, maybe a bit unsure of where to go in life. He can't stop thinking about it. Lonely, perhaps? When he looks at a woman, he looks at her not with a feeling of lust, but instead a tinge of envy. He thinks this is normal. He thinks, well, all boys feel like this. We just don't talk about it. But you and I know better, don't we? As time passes, the thoughts become more and more intrusive. He's reclusive. He can't stop thinking about it. The world of smarting irony, biting at the edge of a wound of soul. Something he struggles to understand, struggles to put his finger on. He doesn't feel right. He's missing something. Life is mundane, but not tragic. Bland. He spends his life doing manly things, but entrapped within his mind is fantasy after fantasy of himself living as a girl. Adventures, relationships, gestures, a timid glance here, a loving stare there, an entire universe in his head. The skin could not be more different to the desire. Frustration, silent cries against a god he knows doesn't exist. Why did you make me a boy? But all boys felt like that. They just didn't talk about it. It was an unwritten rule, he knew that much. Until one day he stumbled on a community. Relation and understanding. For the first time in his life, he found a group of people that felt the same struggle. In ribbons of blue, white, and pink, he became entangled. Was it right? Was it wrong? Somehow it only served to make him more miserable. Worried as he was that he would never make it, until slowly, ever so slowly, he started to accept it. Months went by in denial, but every time he looked back, the conclusion only seemed more clear. It was only a matter of time. Soon, he made his decision. Research here, excitement there, experimentation. In the blink of an eye, she was holding a pill. Many a difficult conversation had been had. Many a specialist had had their opportunity to weigh in, but in the end, the choice was hers and hers alone. And so she acted upon the universe in her head. The fantasies she'd spent her entire life dreaming of. Dragging them out and laying them down in the real world. She took the pill. Days went by, then weeks. Things started to happen. Slowly at first, but they were hard to deny. It wasn't a magic fix all, but it helped. Time continued its unstoppable march as her mirror image changed scope. Every little corner of her was touched, the delicate fingertips of femininity dragging lightly across her being. Months went by, her face softened, her body filled out, her smile widened, hips, breasts. With her progress, she found a newfound confidence to improve herself in other ways. Makeup, voice training, she found a love of clothing. She sought bright colors, pretty patterns, people started to notice. People started to smile at her, laugh with her, people complimented her. She finally started to become her own person, recognizable among thousands where previously she'd felt she had no identity. She became more and more confident, more and more beautiful. She soared to heights she never thought possible. And one day, it dawned on her. Finally, at long last, she had brought to life the fantasies she had spent 20 years fixed upon. Five years ago, she had cried at a god that never existed, asking why she had been made a boy. Now she knew she had the power to be whatever she wanted. She was a goddess over her own world of flesh and bone. Looking at herself in the mirror, she felt an immense satisfaction, a feeling of completeness, as if everything had at long last fallen into place. The world was at balance and she was more than content. She couldn't believe she was really a girl, but at the same time, any alternative felt completely impossible. It had been a long, hard, and terrifying journey. It had all started with a realization, a decision, and a pill. It had been scary. It had been scary turning her back on who she was and opening herself up to a brighter but undoubtedly risky future. It had been scary, but it had paid off. And yet for some, the scariest thing about it was that estrogen had helped that girl to be happy.